Hello everyone and welcome back to The Witch of Bees and Bones. Um, I just uploaded a video maybe an hour ago um, and then I got mail and I'm so fucking excited uh, that I had to share. So the first piece of mail is a gift from my beautiful friend Julie. Um, she is also um, a master life coach and she's incredible and she's intuitive and she's just one of the most lovely human beings. Um, I will put her info down below. So if that's something that you would like to um, reach out to her about, please do. She's incredible. Um, and I'm, I'm just, I'm the luckiest person that I, that she's one of my dearest friends. I love her so much. And um, she sent me something uh, as an early birthday present. Uh, and I opened the box and I squeed, um, which is not usually my thing, as you may have noticed. So I hope you can see this because she's magnificent. Look at this beautiful, beautiful crystal. Oh my God. I don't, I don't even think you can like see maybe, hold on. Maybe if I put this behind, yeah, that helps a little bit. It's just extraordinary. So she gave me a beautiful note, which is private, so I won't show that. Um, so this is a black phantom quartz, and uh, she gave me a little printout of, of what it's about. Uh, black phantom quartz crystals are very powerful. They facilitate inner growth and help us identify and resolve past life issues. Black phantom quartz assists us in using our past experiences as lessons to help us move forward with confidence and strength. Phantoms are formed when mineral deposits occur during an interruption in growth of a crystal. The crystal begins to grow again and the phantom is left within the crystal. So again, it has these beautiful phantoms in it. I, this isn't even doing it justice, which I'm so sorry, but it's magnificent and it's heavy and it's beautiful and it feels good. And I love it, and not just because it's shiny and pretty, but because it just, like, it feels good in my hand. And the fact that somebody I love so much gave this to me um, means the world to me. So, uh, Julie, I'll be reaching out to you uh, well before this video goes up, but I love you and thank you. Um, the second thing that came in the mail, I ordered a couple of weeks ago. And um, I know you're all used to me talking about how much I love the Obsidian Oracle by Megan Bucera, I believe is how you pronounce her name or how I, you know what I'm saying. So I've opened the package, but I haven't taken anything out of it because once I realized what it was, I had to share with you. Now, content warning, um, if you don't like boobs, uh, sign off now because I'm pretty sure one of these prints has female breasts in it. So if that's something you find offensive or that you don't care for, um, then I okay, I, I guess. Uh, so just sign off. This this content isn't for you. It's not pornography. It's not gross. It's not. It's just it's art. Um, but there are breasts, um, if I remember correctly. So. Oh, okay, this should be easy enough. Okay. Packaged very nicely. <gasps> Guys. Guys. So th these are prints of her. Um... Oh my God, these are so beautiful. Um, these are prints of her original artwork. So I don't know which to show you first. Um... I'm going to shut this light out. No, you can see it great. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh my God. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Her, her work is just... It's magnificent. I'm I'm in awe. The next piece um, is the piece that has breasts um, in it. So um, again, I can't swoop away. 
the light is washing this out. The color in this is exquisite. And I saw this print and I had to have it. I'm going to take it to the frame shop tomorrow. I'm going to take both of these to the frame shop tomorrow and get them the beautiful mats and uh, framing they deserve. Oh, these pieces. I'm, I'm blown away. I wish, hold on, hold please. Sorry, again, I'm, if I shut this off, you can't see me. So sorry guys, but I'm gonna link her Etsy page down below so you can see these pieces if you wanted to get them for yourself. They weren't super expensive. I was kind of surprised. I'm surprised at how, how great quality they are. Um, they did take a couple of weeks to come, but she made, I, I'm not sure, it was fine. It's not a big deal at all. But these are just, oh my goodness. I'll show you the first one again. Let me be gentle with that one. Oh my goodness. Oh, talk about divine feminine. Oh my goodness. Oh, these are just magnificent. This is, I, I have such a love for art and my love for art is kind of all over the place. Um, but... I just the the strings from her mouth to her fingers are uh, in the drape the this is magnificent and the cicadas as you know I've mentioned I love cicadas I know I keep going on and on these these are remarkable pieces they're just I I can't recommend them enough um, so I will link her page down below. This was super quick, super random. Um, I like today was a jackpot, um, uh, mail day. Uh, so again, this, this black phantom quartz is just, oh my goodness. I, oh my goodness. It's so pretty. I, the, the, the camera really isn't doing it justice, but this is going to have um, a very special place uh, on my on one of my main altars. Um, it's the beauty of having altars in every room of the house. You get to be surrounded by beauty. Um, so very quick, very random. I adore you all. Uh, I just wanted to share my excitement with you and share this beautiful crystal with you. Thank you again, Julie. I love you so much. And I wanted to share this art with you. Um, and I knew that I couldn't wait until tomorrow to open the box once I realized what it was. Um, so that's that. Uh, I just had to share cause I appreciate you guys so much. So I will see you soon. Um, and I, like I said, I'll, I'll link the art pieces down below and I appreciate all of you so much. Um, have a great day. Uh, have a great evening. Um, I showed you some beautiful things. I hope they made you happy in some way. And um, I will be back with you very soon. Bye.